Hello everyone, welcome to my video on trigonometry for GCSEs focusing on SOKATOA. SOKATOA is three short words to help you remember three different maths formulas. Sine theta equals opposite over hypotenuse or O over H. Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, A over H. And tan theta is opposite over adjacent, or O over H. So, theta is just what I'm using to represent any possible angle. Okay? So, for any possible angle on a triangle, we do the opposite of that angle and divide it by the triangle's hypotenuse. So, let's have a look at a triangle. First of all, it's got to be a right angle triangle. That means that one of its angles is 90 degrees. Otherwise, these famous formulas will not work. So, we've got our right angle triangle. Now we need to know, well, what angle is it that we're focusing on? So, the exam question will generally tell you what angle it is you're focusing on. So, you have a right angle triangle, and it's got an angle which could be known or could be labelled as, say, X, where you have to find it. From knowing that angle that you're interested in, you can look opposite it, and guess what? That is your opposite length, called O. You then think about your longest possible length, which is always opposite the right angle, and that length you call H, and O is the one left over, or if you want to know what adjacent means, next to. So A is the one next to the angle of interest. Do not be confused if your triangle is different ways around. Say our triangle is like this, and the angle we were interested in is here. Opposite is there. Hypotenuse here, and adjacent here. Okay, so be very careful about that. I'm going to show you an example question. So let's draw ourselves a right angle triangle. And let's say that we know that this angle here is 60 degrees. And we know this length here is 5 meters. And we're really interested in what the height of this triangle is. Now this can be applied to real life if you imagine that you're standing here and you're looking up and you know how far away you are from a building, you can actually work out the height. That's what lasers use to measure different heights using this trigonometry function. Okay. Anyway, back to our GCSE question. What we want to do is write down Sokotoa. And we want to think, label our lengths. Opposite 60 is O. Opposite, our right angle is H, and the one left over is A. Now, we don't care about H in this instance, because we don't know anything about it, and we don't want to know what it is. We know something about A, and we want to know something about O. In your question, you probably won't have a question mark. Obviously, you'll have a letter, like X. So, we look and we think we've both that we want to use is TOA. So, we write down tan theta equals O over A. In our case here, O is X. So, we change this to X. And in our case, A is 5. So we change this to 5. We want to find out the value of x, so we have to times 5 times 5. Don't forget that our angle in this case is 60 degrees. Now we do x equals 5 times tan 60. We put that in our calculator, 5 times tan 60 and we get the answer of 
8.66. That's to two decimal places. So that's one example of using trigonometry to find a missing length. I want to show you another example of using trigonometry to find a missing angle. This time I'm going to make the triangle a bit more complicated. So I'm going to start off showing you how I'm drawing this triangle. This is our missing angle, that's our right angle. Now I'm going to do what sometimes the exam questioned us and rotate it around to make it as complicated looking as I can. So there it is. I'm also going to tell you that the length across here is 20 meters. And I'm also going to tell you that the length here is 5 meters. The question is, find x. So, we see it's a right angle triangle, we see it's got an angle, and we write down SOHCAHTOA. We label our, our different lengths. Opposite X is called O. Opposite the right angle is called H. And next to the angle, the one left over, is called A. In this case, we do not want O because there's nothing with O. We're not trying to find it and we don't have information on it. We have information on H and A. So the one that we want to use is the one with A and H, which is K, which reminds us of the formula cos theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Own. We're going to use x to represent the unknown, like in the question. A is 5 and h is 20. In this case, if you wanted to simplify, you could divide top and bottom by the fraction to get a quarter. So we've got this equation now that cos x equals a quarter. Well, we want to know what x is. Now, what you've been told before about letters and numbers, when they're next to each other, say 9x, that equals 9 times x. Cos x is different. Cos x does not mean cos times x. It means cos of x. It's doing something to x, like square rooting or squaring or cubing. It's doing it to x. So you can't just divide by this cos to get rid of it. You need to know what the opposite of cos is. Well, the opposite of times is divide. The opposite of add is plus. The opposite of add is take away, sorry. The opposite of square is square root. And the opposite of cos is cos to the minus 1. Okay, so cos of something, to do the opposite, cos to the minus 1. They're opposites there inverses. So to get rid of this cos x, we need to do cos to minus 1 of both sides of the equation to get left of x. And in your calculator, you can type cos to minus 1 of a quarter. And you get the answer of 75.5 to 3 significant feet. I hope this has been useful. I know my sound's been cutting out a lot. It's rather annoying. But hopefully, because I'm writing as well, you can